Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Poncho back at you again with another video. So if you guys see my most recent video covering the shooting in Telford, we was discussing that after a broad daylight drive-by shooting had taken place, we was waiting for an update in regards to what happened to the victim who was shot and there's actually been quite a big update. But first let's catch you guys up who don't know what's going on and then we'll get into this update. So at 12.10pm today, that would be the 13th of October 2020, emergency services were called to Bridges Business Park in Telford to reports of shots fired. When they arrived at the scene, armed officers along with paramedics found a 20 year old male suffering from gunshot injuries. Like we said in the previous video covering this, I did say that there was an air ambulance nearby and it could have been for this incident but it was unconfirmed and it looks as if this might be the case now because that 20 year old victim has now gone on to sadly die. A West Midlands ambulance service spokeswoman said, when ambulance crews arrived, they found bystanders giving CPR to a man with critical injuries. Ambulance staff quickly took over resuscitation efforts and worked as a team to administer advanced treatment to the man. Sadly, despite the best efforts of bystanders and ambulance staff, nothing could be done to save the man and he was confirmed dead on scene a short while later, which is obviously an update because before it was originally said that he was taken to hospital, but unfortunately he did go on to die at the scene. Telford Policing Commander Superintendent Jim Baker said, this is clearly a very serious and tragic incident that has seen a young man lose his life and our thoughts are very much with his family and friends at this sad time. There's currently a scene guard in place at the business park and an increased police presence in the area as we carry out our inquiries and I would like to thank local residents and businesses for their cooperation and understanding for any disruption as we do this. At this current time we do not believe there is any risk to the wider public however there will be officers on patrol in the local area to offer reassurance. A murder investigation has now been launched with a number of initial inquiries and we would ask anyone who has any information they think could help with our investigation to let us know. So along with this it's now believed that the person who was killed in this incident was rapper T Rose from Rainers Lane and this is coming from Molly Drill News who is a very reliable source. For you guys who are unfamiliar with T Rose he has quite a few songs out to be fair with his notable song No Lie which is pretty controversial but I won't be going in to that whole situation and I would just like to ask people in the comments section just to be a little bit respectful and just remember that a young man has died in this situation and I personally just want to say rest in peace to T Rose. I apologize that I actually don't know his formal name because he hasn't actually been named in the media yet and I just want to say that my condolences are going out to his family and friends at this very sad time. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the UK be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Spinny boy, Poncho, and I'm out.